Hey, this is Karsten Delap. I'm an IFMGA mountain guide. We're out here climbing on white sides today in North Carolina doing some uh, thin ice climbing. We're gonna look at how we keep our nose over our toes on ice and what tool positions that might look like uh, so that you can keep your, your nose over your toes, giving your crampons better purchase. In this thin ice climbing on slab, we have to be really tenuous on our feet so that we're not kicking off ice or anything like that. And we also can't kick very hard. So we have to have just a small front point in there. And when we kick, it's just a, a nice tap. And then once we get our point in, we just go ahead and weight that and we have to trust it. But the way to trust it is to not be lifting our heel too much and to keep our nose over our toes or being in balance. So when I'm climbing this style of ice, I don't want to lean in too far. If I do, it could start to shear my front points. It'd be like taking my ice axe and pulling up on it. It could pull out. So what I do is a lot of times I'll, I'll choke up on my tool and use the upper pommel. I don't swing super high. So now I can start to walk my feet up and keep my nose over my toes. As I move up, I shift my nose over this toe so I can stand on this foot and I can kick my other foot in. It's a nice one swing kick. I'm not trying to like really drive it in. It's just a nice quick kick, kick to get it in. If I kick, 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 or really try to knock the ice out, it's just gonna be gone. And again, swinging from this upper pommel can keep me over my feet versus reaching really far to try to climb up. One other technique we can use is we can push on the top of our tool. We don't want to pull at all, but we can push to balance ourselves so that we can step up. And have to swing way less. Thanks for joining today. Follow along more this winter for more ice climbing tips like this. And remember, ice climbing is pretty dangerous, especially climbing this thin stuff. You really need to do a lot of following or seconding ice climbs before you ever start thinking about leading them. And I'd make sure you get some proper instruction too.